it's a it's a tragic event. Carver County Sheriff's Office here. We, uh, we can confirm that a small aircraft crashed into a vacant lot and house at 7926 Road Street, Rose Street, just behind the, the RV on here. Uh, there was some uh, family members home at the time of the crash, uh, but none were injured. Uh, we're asking residents and the public to stay away from the area at this time. Highway 5, County Road 11 to the south, and County Road 11 to the north are both closed, and so we would look for people to take alternate routes. Uh, I would also, I'd like to thank our partner agencies who responded to assist in this, this incident. We have had multiple fire departments, Minnesota State Patrol, uh, Minnesota Department of Transportation, FAA and NTSB, as well as the Midwest Medical Examiner's Office. Sure, if you could. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Uh, just wondering if there's a narrative you can share with us, what you guys know so far about what happened. We, we're really uh, in the infancy on this investigation, and we, we don't have a lot of information about what went up to the crash. Can you tell us if there's any injuries or deaths? Uh, we can confirm that there are fatalities uh, stemming from the crash. Fatalities? Yes. Anything else here? Man, woman? Uh, some of those details have not yet been sorted out. We will look to the medical examiner's office to uh, gather that kind of information, investigate the cause and manner, uh, as well as the identities of the deceased. Well, we, we have a debris field, of course, immediately behind me, and we have some areas of interest to the south that we're blocking off uh, until we've had an opportunity to uh, examine that area and gather any evidence that might be. Uh, any any point, sure, Sheriff, uh, that the fact that this landed in a vacant lot and not in a house with people inside will cost the zero man? Well, you know, I, I think that. Uh, I guess I can't really comment on that. Well, you have a busy business district full of people eating and drinking outside. You have a neighborhood right over here, and look where I landed. Yeah, I, and you know, I think that is uh, a bright spot in this tragic event that it was uh, limited to the vacant lot. I think we can see that the, the traffic along Highway 5 uh, creates a problem. The, the scope of the scene uh, creates a separate issue. Uh, as you, you asked about earlier, with the, the possibility of some debris field being a little bit further to our south. And this, this area will be closed off for. It'll be closed off for, yeah, for quite a while. Like I, overnight? I, well, for sure overnight. I think as we uh, get into the darkness, uh, the investigation will probably pause until we get back to daylight tomorrow. And the FAA, are they here? Uh, the FAA has been on scene, and uh, NTSB is actually taking the lead in the investigation, and I would look to see them here tomorrow. Uh, I cannot. Do you know how many people are on the plane? Uh, I cannot confirm that. Confirm no survivors. Uh, I don't know the answer to that. That'll be part of the investigation that the NTSB and FAA uh, don't gather that information. Just sure, from a personal standpoint, sure, just your thoughts about all this. I mean, we have a very nice town here. There's 20,000 crews in the middle of the town like that. People have died. I cannot confirm that. Can you confirm if anybody survived? I can confirm no survivors. Do you have 
Uh, I don't know the answer to that. That'll be part of the investigation that the MTSB and FAA will uh, gather that information. Just to, from a personal standpoint, share a few thoughts about all this. I mean, we have a very nice town here. There's 20,000 crews in the middle of the town like that. People have died. I think it's a it's a tragic event for the uh, friends and family and, and the, the, all of the, the people involved. Thank you. Hey guys, I just wanted to add in here too. This is a very busy area of downtown Victoria where there's a lot of bars and restaurants out here. Also talking with some of the witnesses that were there when it crashed and some of the residents there was a large debris field. Houses were shaking. There was also um, literally across the street. It missed the gas station by about, I would say, 100 feet. So this could have been really bad. A lot of bars and restaurants around in the neighborhood. It could have been very tragic and we could have had a lot of fatalities. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you for joining, tuning in. This is video that I was able to get right before I posted this. So again, Jason with Minnesota News Now out. People sleep peaceably in their beds at night because rough men stand ready to do violence on their behalf. Shut up!